Now I will show you how to configure this static root and this configured nodes. So we configured 101 and 102 leaf nodes. So if I'll click on this 101 node, so I'm getting this configuration. So this is the node ID, router ID, and this is the loopback IP address. We are using the same router ID and the loopback. And the next thing is here you can see the static root. So nothing is there. Now I'll show you how to configure the static root on this leaf nodes. So if I click on this plus button thing, I need to provide the prefix. So this will be my destination. And if I click on this plus sign button, this will be my next stop address. So now I will show you how to configure the static root using Terraform script. This is our registry.terraform.io and in this L3 out section, you can find ACL3 out static root. I'll open this and I'll copy this script and I will add to our main file. I paste it the script and here you can see the name of this resource is ACL3 out of static root. Example is the name to this resource. And this is the relation. And here you need to provide the destination address. So here we will use the same IP range that is 10.0.0.1. And I'll keep the rest of the things as it is. So I'll save this and we'll try to run this script but before running the script i would like to tell you that i need to create the static root in this node 101 so name of this resource is aci logical node to fabric node and here it is aci logical node to fabric node dot example so it seems we have the correct relation mapped in this resource so i'll run this and we'll push the configuration typing terraform apply command okay now here it is showing aci access port block error we are getting so we'll go to our main file we'll go to port block so we blocked I think port number 19 in this script. So I'll, might be someone is using this port. We're not sure which port is free. So we'll try to use port number 21. Oh, sorry, here we did not change. We'll need to change on both sides. So I'll use 23 here. So both are 23 now. So I'll save this file and we'll try to run once again. Still, we are getting the same issue. What it is saying, node 102 overlapping interfaces. Means might be someone is using here. You can see this is the ports mapping. So might be someone is using that slash 27, one slash 27. So I'll type 35 and we'll check once again. We're not sure which port is free on Sandbox Epic. We can go to Epic GUI and check uh, the configuration. If uh, there is any free ports are available there, we can use it, but uh, we'll try here taking some other options. Here you can see it got accepted and this new resource for creating the static route got pushed to the epic so uh, let me verify this configuration so if i'll go here and here i can see 10.0.0.1 it's the address but next stop is not there so i'll need to add some more configuration to have uh, the next hop in this static route so i'll go to terraform registry and we'll check for the next hop so here you can see acl3 out static route next hop is there so i'll use this script 
to add the next hop so i'll go to main file and we'll try to use this resource take 192.168.1.1 is my next hop address and i'll keep the rest of the things as it is i'll now i'll save this file and we'll push this configuration so i'll apply the terraform apply command so the existing resources are getting refreshed and here it is asking me to provide the approval so i'll type yes and it will push the configuration so in this case now here you can see l3 out of static root next hop got created so we'll check and verify configuration in the epic so here you can see our next hop ip is 192.168.1.1 so we created one static root on the node 101 now in the same way we'll need to add one more static root and that will be in the 102 leaf node so these are uh, border leaf so that's why we are creating one l3 out with the help of a static routing now i'll go here and we'll see the configuration for 102 so here uh, static root is not there so i'll use the same resources in the main file so we used these two resources to create the static root so i'll copy this and now here i'll need to give example two because we have the same script for 101 now we'll need to apply this script on 102 leaf node so i'll need to change its name we have given example 2 to these resources and i'll do the same thing for this now i'll need to apply this to the 102 node here the name to this resource is example 2 i will firstly save this and uh, we'll try to modify if we get any error in the scripts so i'll type terraform plan and we'll see if our mapping is correct for this 102 leaf node so it is checking okay so it seems our script is correct but we'll try to run and we'll apply in this command Now we'll see if it is getting created in 102 leaf node. So it got pushed. If I'll refresh this page, so here I'm unable to see this got created. And this is static root in 102. Seems there is some thing we have not mapped correctly. So if I'll go here, I'll need to type example two and this should be example two so that it will map correctly to the leaf node 102 we use these resources for 102 so we'll try to run once again i'll apply this configuration okay now here you can see the static root got created so we configured uh, both the static routes and the configured nodes and now the next thing is to configure the logical interface profile so if i'll click on this drop down button i'm not getting anything so uh, we'll need to configure the logical interface profile on this leaf nodes so i'll check for the resources and this registry so i'll type logical interface profile this resource is available so i'll use and will copy this resource and will add it to our main file so this is my resource to create logical interface profile now i'll use the same name example and the rest of the things i'm keeping as it is and the name of this logical interface profile is demo int profile so 
we'll keep this as it is and we'll save this file and i'll run this i'll directly apply terraform apply command okay so here you can see three resources we have added now we'll verify the configuration in epic gui so here you can see demo in prof this profile got created so if I click on this, here you can see name of this logical interface profile and the description. Now the next thing is if I click on demo end profile. So I'm getting these things we configured for this logical interface profile. Now we will have uh, this option general routed sub interfaces, routed interfaces, SVI and floating SVI. So I'll try to use the floating SVI. So I'll search for SVI here and I'm getting this result floating SVI. This resource is there. So I'll copy this resource. I'll copy this resource till this point and we'll try to add in our main file. Now I'll will not change anything so resource name is correct and uh, it has a relation with this so this statement is correct and now here i just need to edit the node id so we are using 101 and 102 leaf node so i'll configure 101 vlan is 20 this is the address and this is the description and I'll keep this rest of the things as it is. Now I'll use this bracket and, and we'll save the file and we'll run this command directly. Terraform apply. And now here you can see one resource got added. So I'll go and check if I'm getting floating SVI here. So here you can see Floating SVI got added 101. This is the IP address I'm using, MAC address, and this is the VLAN, and the scope of this is VRF. Now, this got created for 101. Let me create one more floating SVI on 102 leaf node. So, I'll use the same configuration. And I'll run this file once again, but here I need to change the node ID. So I'll type 102 and I'll keep all these settings as it is. So I'll save this file and we'll check if we're able to get the expected output. So I'll run and apply the configuration, but here you can see it is not accepting because we have not changed the name of the resource so here it is showing we have already one resource with this name so we'll need to change the name of this resource so we'll now use example 2 and we'll need to save once again this file and i'll apply this command and now this time it will take and accept our configuration. Now it seems this is getting pushed. So here it's showing that one more resources got added. So I'll go and verify. So here you can see uh, you configured 102. This is the IP, VLAN and this VRF. So in this way, you can configure it. Whatever IPs you want to assign, you can use it only to show you the used cases. So I've configured this thing. So uh, might be there are some changes in the configuration as per your requirements. Sometimes you need to configure some other protocol like BGP, OSPF. But here I've shown you this used case for static L3 out and if you want to configure or change or any modification is required, then you can update 
or use the resources as per your requirement. So here I wanted to show you how to create the L3 out. So here, this is the configuration we have done so far. We create logical node profile. We configure nodes. We configured uh, the static routes. We also configured logical interfaces profile. So in this way, you can use the Terraform resources to create the L3 out.